Right. No opening oh. statement. <laughs> Offensive lines coach. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I wanted to ask specifically about Martin Ross, but I was curious from your perspective, how's he been doing through fall camp so far compared to what your expectations were for Well, I mean, uh, obviously him losing a lot of weight uh, during the year. Um, he worked really hard uh, in the winter and the spring, uh, so the expectations certainly rose. <laughs> um, but he's been doing a nice job right now. He's, he's obviously able to move around a lot better. He's a very athletic big man, and it's good to have a guy with that size still in there. So. You mentioned his weight. How, how much has he improved, whether it's physically or just with his play in the last calendar year? Well, I mean, I think he was about 360 last year, something like that. I mean, he's down to 320. Uh, talking to Sleeve, he might have had one of the biggest uh, changes in increased muscle mass and, and fat loss. So, I mean, that right there is going to help you move and do everything you need to do a lot better. And I know you had some experience before you all got here, but your first impressions of him, just what were they? Last year? Yeah. He needs to lose weight. <laughs> good athlete. He was always a good athlete. He's a big guy, um, but now he's moving a lot better. I'm curious with Dominic Pooney. Um, how did that come about? Right, You don't think about someone making the jump from MIAA to, to Power 5. Uh, how did you find him and how did you evaluate him? Uh, well, I mean, our recruiting office is always, you know, searching the portal. Um, you know, Division two guys, I mean, it's probably a little bit hard to find the uh, – he had some, some clips on film and it was pretty impressive and he's fairly close to us at the same time and, and got to know him on the phone and got to know him a little better when he came over and he, he enjoyed it and I'm happy he's here. How's his adaptation process been so far? What are some of the things that have stood out to you getting to work with him kind of hands on? Well, him being an older guy has made it a little bit easier. I mean, he's obviously played a lot of football. I mean, it might not have been big ball football, but he's played offensive line for, for quite a while. So he understands, uh, and then, you know, we're, we're pretty fundamental in what we do as well. So uh, he's picked it up uh, very well kind of to this point. Obviously, there's things he still needs to, to learn, but, I mean, he's he's pretty sharp dude. I think at practice today we saw Mike Ford move around a little bit, you know, playing guard and, and some tackle as well. Uh, what sort of versatility does he offer you in making different decisions with the cross training? Uh, well, Mike is probably one of the most versatile guys. I mean, playing center, uh, played a lot of guard, can play tackle, so he can really quite literally play anywhere. Um, although, you know, creating competition, it's not that he's just playing everywhere. Um, you know, he's still competing. Um, and they're all still competing. And um, I think he's he's been in the offense long enough. He's a pretty sharp dude himself. Um, and he's got himself to about 300 and some pounds. He's bigger than he was last year. And he's still very quick. Um, so that athletic ability really allows him to kind of move around in there. And his knowledge of the game and what we do obviously helps him a lot too. Scott, with that versatility and that cross training, I know you guys have done that for years. It's been the staple of what you want to do on the line. But how hard is it for guys maybe to necessarily grasp concepts from left to right, tackle to guard, and, and even center, snapping? And, and, and how much do they get? Because Lance said sometimes there are guys you just don't want to get them confused and hurt their confidence too. Well, I mean, sometimes you give it a shot, it doesn't work out. Sometimes mm -hmm. they, they understand it completely. I will say that what the right tackle does in the run game is the same as what the guard does at times, mm -hmm. the same as what the center does at times. So it, it is very similar stuff. Obviously, pass set stuff gets a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, but you know our ability to keep that simple as well, um, teach fundamentals, like truly teach fundamentals and understand fundamentals and where they, they fit in each play, um, that's been a big stress. Um, I, I guess a, a big part of what I've tried to do um, you know, all winter, you know, since the season's over, as they understand. So if I'm the, the left guard and I'm blocking a two eye, it's the same as the right tackle blocking a four eye, mm -hmm. you know, and we get those situations. So they're all exactly the same as if they can relate that, they can, they can pick it up. The other thing too, I mean, you know, back hundred years ago when I played, I, I was out there to tackle, they moved me to guard and I had to do it that week okay. in, in the game. And this, all they said was, listen, if you know what you did at tackle, you know you're working with a tackle as a guard, you got it. And and they can relate that way too. Mm -hmm. It's it's not like, oh my goodness, this guy's just doing something really specific and unique. They all really understand what's happening. And then even now, um, kind of year two with a lot of the wide zone stuff, the outside zone, how much do you feel like these guys are now, have comprehended it and it can even build upon their understanding so and comprehension? Okay. So much better. Um, okay. Yeah. If I ever feel down, I'm just going to think a year ago. Because I mean, <laughs> it is, uh, it's night and day.
What are your thoughts on Bryce Cable News, kind of improvement as last year went on and headed into this year? Bryce has done a good job in the off season, putting good weight on as well. I think he's in that around 310 area. Um, still able to move his development and you know getting out there and playing as basically a freshman you know last year was, was probably a little bit too soon but now that it's happened we want to use those reps and uh, you know keep his development going because he's done a really good job with it. Is there a lineman who has maybe excelled the most in terms of for that wide zone getting out there and, and kind of using their agility and everything? I, I wouldn't it, it wouldn't work that way anyway they're, they're all working together so they've excelled together more for sure. We've talked a little bit, or Lance has mentioned the weight and the collective weight gain of a lot of guys. Uh, how do you see that helping the group collectively kind of heading into this season? Well, obviously, if you're bigger and stronger, um, <laughs> it's going to help you. Um, you know, collectively, yes, uh, I think a, a guy's more confident. You know, he has the ability to move somebody and strain one on one. Um, you know, we can use things like the snap count to, you know, I mean, that's our weapon, you know, um, but ultimately at the end of the day, um, they still have the ability to move really well, I think, and um, and I'm very excited about the extra weight that they put on, you know. When we talked to Mike, and you mentioned here, simplicity for your coaching style, I guess, why is that something that you emphasize? Well, okay, a long time ago, I think offensive line coaches kind of have this, I got to make it really complicated so I sound smart, okay? Um, I don't want to do that. I want them playing as fast as they possibly can. Okay. As soon as we snap the ball, we are going. Okay. And if you got to think a lot, anytime you thought, you're thinking, thinking, you're not going fast anywhere. Okay. So if we can simplify, and that's really, truly not what we've done. It's, I mean, that's been the plan from the, from the start, you know, but they want to make it complicated too. It's got to be more, you know, there's got to be more to it. No, there isn't. Okay. It's player A hitting player B. This is how you do it. Understand the leverage. Um, and get after it. I think they are understanding that a lot better right now. And for you, in terms of recruiting, you know, as you start to get younger guys, what are some of the traits you're kind of looking for when you're out evaluating guys? Well, I mean, I think, you know, you start with measurables, you know, length. Um, you know, can this young man get big enough uh, for you? I mean, I, I personally think they all can put the weight on. It's just how quickly can you put the weight on, you know? Um, and I mean, that's important. They need to understand our culture, all right? Um, they're gonna be required to work extremely hard. It's not, you know, I, I think that is a big part of recruiting as well. Um, hey, this is what we're about. You need to understand this, okay? Um, and then, you know, you're gonna watch film. It's like snapshots. I mean, if you follow me around on the golf course and taking up highlight video, I probably look like I should be in the PGA. Okay? And I guarantee you that's not the truth. All right, but you get to know these guys, you, you know, personality is a big deal as well. I think all those things, you know, you fold all that in. I mean, that, that's really what you're looking for is, okay, this guy, great package right here. You know, he's going to work hard. He's going he's gonna to strain. He's going to, uh, you know, he's an intelligent guy. He is, uh, he's not emotional, you know, uh, at least in the game, you know. Uh, he's even keel, so I look for all that stuff. Uh, it's early days, but James Livingston, what do you get in what's kind of your assessment of how he's handled this transition? He's done a he's done a really nice job. But, you know, even in the spring, I think I think I got to see him in the spring. He was at about two hundred and seventy five pounds and he's like, Well, I'm, I'm gonna stay at this, so that's great. Um, but he came in in the summer. I think he's getting close to three hundred pounds, a really athletic long guy. Um, you know, probably the type of guy we're looking for. I mean he's he's um, he's not you know, too, like I'm saying, emotion. He's not too high. He's not too low. He's going to work, and he's asking questions. But he's just he's working. I like that. Some coaches have the idea that offensive linemen should not be playing as true freshmen. Where do you guys stand on that organizationally? Well, like, if you're good enough to help us win, you're going to play. Okay. So, just that straightforward. I'm, yeah. yeah. Cool. No, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and then I guess on the opposite side of that is Earl Bostic made it pretty clear when we were talking to him in Dallas at media days that he wants to have an NFL future. What can you do for him in his final year, and he's been here forever, to, to kind of get him so that he's oriented, so that he's in a good position to do that? You know, we've, we've had some good conversations. Um, you know, the, the, the stuff off the field, you know, this, is, this will be the expectation mm -hmm. when you uh, move on into the NFL. This is what's required. Um, you know, and reminding him of those things. I think constant, you know, hey, you know what? You got to be practicing like it's a Super Bowl right now. 
you know, there's no different temple for you, you, you know, I mean, just understanding all that stuff because um, obviously you take to another level. I mean, everybody's a heck of a player, you know, so um, in our, our recruiting office and Scott Lego has done a good job, you know, explaining stuff with him. I think, um, you know, as far as the football component of it is just have a great season, you know, and um, helping him to continue to, I would say, um, progress his game, you know, and keep, you know, here's, here's the next step, Earl. This is, this is the next thing we want to see out of you. So, and he's, he's, he's kind of, he's taken all that, you know, and he's, he's done a great job with it. So, excited for him. Anything else? Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Oh, sorry. First, okay. Kind of saw it. <laughs> you know, I wanted to just, you guys had a scrimmage. I just want to get your take. Just general thoughts, what you saw from the line in the first scrimmage. Uh, you know, that the scrimmage was a little, I'm not saying hard to evaluate. We, we had some situations and scenarios, but it's never really like a game, you know, where offense is going to get into a rhythm and you're going to get this drive going. I mean, you, you start at a spot and it's going to end after so many reps, no matter what good or bad or how things are going on. Um, I think we are uh, definitely, I mean, you, you, I'm going to take you back to like last year though. It's so much more night and day. I mean, the more guys playing together, understanding how to play together, you know, um, teaching each other, a lot of peer teaching going on. Um, the, based on that, I thought they handled themselves really well in the scrimmage. I mean, a lot of things to clean up, no doubt, but um, the effort has been good. And, uh, you know, that's, that's one thing that, uh, you know, we talked about, and, and in fact, post scrimmage the, the, in the meeting room was awesome. Uh, we got a chance to discuss a lot of things that happened in there, but they understand that effort trumps technique. Okay, playing hard is better than any technique that they can do. All right, and I, I think we're starting to see a lot more of that out of them. I know it's early. What have you seen from Joey Baker? And I know he was a guy that could play a lot of different positions, and I didn't know where he's. Yeah, Joey came in, and we're, I'm getting it. He's learned how to snap the ball. But he is playing, you know, he's starting out at some tackle for us right now. Um, he's a guy, uh, and he's another athletic guy that I think will end up putting the weight on. Um, pretty smart kid, too. So I'm pretty pleased with where he's at right now. He's done a good job here so far this fall camp. Good? Anything else, Coach?